What is going on guys? It's Nick back here and I wanted to do an update video on my aquaponics system. So as you might have known, I made an aquaponics system on my 10 gallon fish tank. Now this video is actually getting a good amount of love here on my channel and so I wanted to update everybody because there's been a lot of comments and a lot of questions asked about the system and some of the things that I experienced at first, how I might have come around and uh, fix those in the system itself. So I wanted to produce a little video, show you guys currently where it's at, some of the tweaks I've made, and really how the system has been functioning overall. Now the three most asked questions were, number one, did I fix the water displacement issue that I had? There was some issues with the roots growing into the, the tubing I used and some root rot later on in the life cycle of the lettuce, so I'll touch on that. Number two was how I started the seeds for the lettuce. Did I start it in rock wool or did I start it in soil and then transfer it into the system? I'll touch on that a bit as well. And the third was really more about the fish tank itself. What kind of fish do I use? How many do I have? How often do I feed them? Um, and so I'll touch on that as well. Those are all really three great questions and all really important to the system. I just want to say, you know, I really have enjoyed this system. It's a lot of fun. It's, I think, a cool aesthetic to uh, to my room. And uh, it has just overall taught me a lot about aquaponics and about keeping fish at the same time. If you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments below. Again, I'll link all the products I used to create the system down in the description below. So I would definitely say that the number one most requested follow-up was on the water displacement system. Um, I originally had one of those clear tubes. I just drilled holes in them and I saw some issues that I had some root rot and I also saw that the roots were going into that clear tubing and clogging that up and so it wasn't allowing it to go through the full system. I had a lot of people tell me to run a bell siphon system, um, but I had a couple objections to doing that, especially on my system. Number one was the fact that the reservoir is so small. This is a 10 gallon fish tank, and you know this would probably take two gallons of water out at, at its peak, and I really did not want that much water to change within, within the fish tank just for the sake of the fish and the whole aquarium in general. And number two was I just did not feel like it was going to be worth fine tuning the bell siphon system in with, you know, the water pressure and getting it to really pump out excessively. To do it properly, I probably would need to build a new bed um, and new tubing out of it. And I just really didn't feel like it was going to be worth it um, in the long run. So to account for the things that I said before, um, I did a few things to change up the water displacement system. Number one is instead of running that clear tube all the way through the bed, I'm going to connect the tube to a half inch diameter PVC pipe. And I've drilled holes in this PVC pipe, but this will allow me to keep it at the top of the bed, whereas the clear tubing would have accumulated allergy and really not done well in the light. I feel the PVC pipe will, do, will be fine. And number two is I actually hooked it up to a timer and I'm gonna shut off the water for an hour, two times a day to let all of the water drain out of the system and then refill it back up. I think that's gonna hopefully allow oxygen to get into the bottom of the system more frequently um, and take care of some of those root rot problems I had. The root rot really wasn't that bad. I got full harvests from the lettuce, but about halfway through the second regrow, um, I would start to see some signs of root rot. So hopefully this will allow me to get multiple harvests from the same plant um, and just kind of extend the lives of each plant in the system. Okay guys, uh, so you can see the system here. It's been running for about 36 hours now and I'm not sure how well you can see in the video, but it's looking perfect for what I was trying to get at. It's relatively dry on top, which should hopefully allow us to not have any kind of um, algae or anything grow on top. Um, however, if you look right next to the pipe that we have laid in there, um, all of those hydrotin are very wet. So it seems to be working in a pretty uniformed manner and uh, just working very well. A lot of water coming down there from the bottom. You can see the pipe that we replaced is just full of 
old roots and just nasty stuff that we got going on. So definitely an upgrade and uh, looking forward to seeing how it pans out. Okay guys, so I know one of the questions I keep getting asked is how I transfer the plants into the system. Do I start them in rock wool? Do I start them in soil? Um, I guess the answer is I've done both. I actually prefer to start seeds in soil. I think it's just, for me, it's a little bit easier and um, I usually, you know, I have a lot of soil in. Um, I also have rock wool that I started in as well, but for me, I prefer soil. So. Um, I wanted to show you how I go about getting the soil off of the plants themselves. Um, it's super easy. I think a lot of people probably do this as well. Um, but there is not a huge stress taking the plants from soil to the aquaponic system, at least in my opinion. Um, it's about the same amount of stress that I've seen transplanting the rock wool directly. I prefer not to have rock, rock wool in a system like the one I've built just because it retains a lot of water and um, to be honest I just think it's it's probably better for me to plant it directly into the uh, the hydrogen itself. So this is some store-bought lettuce that I have here. Um, I actually grow most of my lettuce from seed myself uh, and I am doing that at the same time. It just would have taken a couple more weeks but I'm just going to show you how I take the lettuce from the soil and uh, remove the dirt around the roots, trying to keep as much of them intact as possible, um, and then to go and implant it directly into the system. So this one's gonna be a little bit different because there's six in the one container. Usually if you had one, you could just flip it upside down. I'm gonna do it a little bit different, but the most thing is you just wanna tap on the sides and try to loosen up the, the sides from the container as much as possible so it can come out in one piece. And then you just wanna lift it over and then as gingerly as possible, you wanna just remove the plant in one fell swoop. Make sure not to tug at the top at all, but then you get your little, your little plant with your little plug. Then I just have a bucket full of, of clean water. Um, even if you get soil in it, it's not a big deal. This is basically just to soak the roots of that plant in, and then just with your hands, um, really gently just knead all of the soil away from the roots. So I'm gonna do that here just for uh, a few minutes and then usually I'll then transfer that over to either a sink or a hose and then again, kind of just, you know, gingerly wash away the rest of the soil from the roots and then you're stuck with a pretty clean root system that you can just take over to the aquaponics bed and plant directly into. Okay guys, so we're back at the aquaponics system itself and we have gone ahead and washed off more of the uh, soil so now we have a nice um, a nice fairly clean root system we're gonna now transplant these into the system by making little holes and then putting them in I'll try to get a close-up here on the camera okay so there's nothing too crazy about this process I'm just looking to uh, burrow a little hole that will be directly under the pipe get our roots lay them on in there and we want to build that back up to where we can support the plant from both sides until it takes root just like that now on the lighting front um, these plants are going to be a little bit stressed from going through this process and changing the medium that they're in so we're actually gonna have no lights on for this day um, luckily um, y'all have seen this light before but we're gonna have one of the two lights on for the next day and then day three we'll turn them both on and uh, let them start getting to growing so there we go we got the first one planted we're gonna do the other two now we're gonna go one two three giving them a good eight to ten inches apart um, I have a good feeling that they're gonna really bunch together and fill the full bed um, but that's, that's how I plant the plants into my aquaponics setup. Hopefully that answered some of the questions that you all had. If there are any more questions, just shoot me a comment down below and I'll try to follow up either through a comment or another video. One of the common questions I got were how many guppies I had in my system, how many I started with, how many I currently have. 
So I actually started this system with only five guppies. I had three female and two male. Uh, but as you know, if you've ever had guppies, they have so many babies. So I quickly saw myself having tons of babies. Um, I've been trying to give them away. I've given them back to the fish store. Um, I've had more tanks um, to account for all of the babies. But this is going to give you hopefully a little bit of an idea of where we currently at in the system. Um, I try not to have more than 10 fully grown guppies. You're going to see a lot of babies in the picture. Um, but it is really important, I think, to make sure you do not overcrowd the system. Having too many fish in the system isn't going to help the plants grow any faster. I think the number one thing we're trying to have here is a healthy fish tank as well as healthy plants up top. These fish have produced enough ammonia and enough nitrate to uh, feed three lettuce at a time for me. That's all I really try to get out of it. But they seem to be super happy. Uh, I really like looking at them. They're, they're little fun fish and uh, they often have really pretty colors. So hopefully that answers your questions on fish. Um, I think you can use pretty much any fish that you want um, that you can put in numbers. I know goldfish are used very often as they produce a lot of waste. But really, I would just tell you to please take care of the fish and uh, make sure when you have them, you're not using the fish only to feed the plants, but you're also, you know, wanting to provide the fish a good home. You make sure that the whole system remains happy. And guys, like I mentioned, underneath my fish tank, I now have a little artificial light that I got off of Amazon for about $20. Um, as I said before, I'll link it down in the description, but you can see it is been great. I have grown that pepper plant directly from seed under this light. It's never seen real sunlight in its life. And I'm also starting a bunch of the seeds that I'm going to grow outdoors here in these propagators. I have lettuce and um, all kinds of things, a bunch of peppers. Just uh, It's just been great. Uh, the light has worked a lot better than I thought. It draws almost no power and uh, just really excited to be able to start all of my plants indoors. I hope you enjoy this update on the aquaponic system on my 10 gallon fish tank. Like I said before, if there's any more questions, please put them down below. I want to hear more about potential things I could use the system in. Is there something you want me to see me grow in the system, other kinds of plants? So just let me know. I want to hear from you guys. As always, I appreciate the view. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. I'm coming out with a lot of stuff, especially focused around this and just more cool DIY projects. Again, appreciate it, and until next time.